Okay, I want to go over a few of the pieces and parts you'll get with your order uh, that'll come on the packing list, just in case you have any questions about them. Uh, first thing is the D-ring, called small D-ring. Uh, these are attached to the top of your whaler, and these are for lifting the box. Uh, next, I want to talk about the, the single clamp. Uh, this is used in a diff uh, whole bunch of different spots on the V-panel for uh, sliding and adjusting. Uh, we'll, we'll touch on that when we do the assembly. Here's the double clamp, and the double clamp is used for the knife edge. These are what hold the knife edge on the bottom. These will come assembled. When you get the panels, they would be assembled on the panel. You shouldn't have to take them off uh, as we take off the top tamp pad to install the whalers. But uh, anyway, so the double clamp goes on the knife edge. Here's the knife edge, and like I said, it'll be assembled onto your uh, panel. Uh, next, what you'll see in the packing list is the two and a quarter inch bolt. Uh, these are used in a lot of places. Uh, we'll show you. These are used for the knife edge. They're used for the lifting ring, for the tamp pad, uh, and uh, so that's the two and a quarter inch bolt. Um, here's the spreader pin. You see, it says Cundle on it. You should get three spreader, spreader pins for each spreader. Uh, two for where they hook to the whaler, and then one for the center for the adjustment. That's the spreader pin. Um, here's the four inch bolt. The four inch bolt comes with uh, two lock washers, a flat washer, and a hex nut. And these are for the panels that are stationary on the box. These go through the panel into the whaler. These are for the stationary panels. Lastly, we have the push pad, tamp pad. Uh, and this goes on the top of the uh, each individual panel. They will come assembled, but you will need to take some of these off for assembly, and we'll touch on that during the assembly part of the video. Uh, and as you can see, it gets the two and a quarter inch bolt on the back. Okay, so we're gonna start assembling the V-panel. So the first way to start is we're gonna take two of the panels. Uh, one thing I would like to touch on is that we're putting together a four foot long by five foot tall, just for the purposes of showing you how to do it. Um, essentially, you may have a six by six, you may have an eight by eight, you may have a 10 by eight, uh, different sizes, but for us to put it together here and be able to film it, it works better when we do the four foot long, five foot tall. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of the panels that do not have the holes drilled in them, and we're gonna set them on our table. Now, one thing I will say is uh, it's better to bring this up off the ground to do it. It's a lot harder to do it on the ground. If you have to do it on the ground, I would definitely recommend getting cribbing to bring it up. Okay, now that we've got the C-clamps on, we've got the bolts in the whaler, we're ready to put the whaler down and we're going to run those C-clamps into the channel. And when he lines those up, he's going to run that whaler and he's going to run it all the way down towards the bottom. All the while, we're going to have the D-rings on the top side. When he runs that down, then we're going to do the next whaler. We're going to do it the same way, but we're not going to run it all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the next whaler. We're gonna do the same thing. We're only gonna just run it to here, and that way then we can bring in our corner panels that are stationary, and we can line those whalers up with the bolts where they go. Lining up the next whaler, and he's gonna bring it down past where the holes are, then we can adjust that. Okay, we're bringing in the second panel. If you'll notice in the back, it's got the two holes drilled. It's got your bottom knife edge. So this is gonna go towards the bottom. This will be your bottom whaler. This will be your top. We're gonna bring this in and we're gonna set it. We're gonna bring one on this side. We're gonna bring one on that side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the whaler bolts in and the way these go, is on the back side, which is the panel side, the flat side, the thread goes into the whaler. You got a lock washer, then a flat washer. This goes up against the panel. And that's how that goes. We're gonna do all four on this whaler, and then we'll do all four on this whaler. Okay, we've got all eight of the whaler bolts put in. Uh, into the whaler, through the end panels that don't move. What I'm going to do is impact them down now, put a wrench on one side, impact on the other. Okay. 
Okay, we've tightened up all the uh, whaler bolts. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten the inside bolts that are in the channel that'll bring that C-clamp up and that'll hold the center ones down. These are the ones that you will loosen up when you wanna slide the panel up and down. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the push pads on this side and this side is done. What I wanna do next is talk about the spreaders a little bit. Um, here's the spreaders, they're the beam spreaders. Here's the adjustment end, the small end, here's the big end. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put them into the one side of the V-panel. One thing is those spreaders will telescope out further, but for the purposes of this video, uh, we just put it out in the smallest setting for when we bring the next panel in. Okay, now we're done with this side of the V-panel. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna put it on the spreaders. Out in the field, you probably use your excavators, use your D-rings, but for purposes here at the shop, we're gonna use our forklift. Okay, um, this is a finished product. All we're gonna do is stand it up and it's ready to go. On site, this is how it'll look. You'll put your chain slings on it or your uh, poly sling, stand it up, ready to put in the hole. Okay, now um, after we did the assembly, I want to uh, touch on a few other things real quick um, for the drop-on. So if you get a four-sided box, you'll get a, uh, a drop-on kit as well. So the way those would come is if, it's, if you want to be four foot wide, you'll have four, four panels. They're one foot wide each and uh, they will come assembled just like the V-panel. They'll have the knife edge on and then the push pad on and I'm going to go over how you put them together and some of the hardware that comes with it. Okay, uh, some of the hardware you'll get with the short, uh, the panel, the panel will be the same height, but the panels will all be the same height, but you'll have different type of hardware. So on the short uh, panel, the one that goes over the short diameter of the spreader, you'll have some front clamps. These will be smaller, these are solid. You'll notice in the large clamps for the larger diameter spreader, they'll have a hole here, and I'll show you that shortly. You'll have four of those, that's for one panel. Two steel spacers. You'll have some bolts. These are two and a half to two and three quarter inch bolts. And then you'll have some back clamps. We've uh, discussed the back clamps earlier. These are essential in the drop-ons as well. So when you get your panel, when it comes, uh, you take it out, everybody, you take it out of the packing and you're gonna put the drop-on together. The first thing you'll need to do is to take off the push pad. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to put on the front clamps, and these are the clamps when you set it up onto the uh, V-panel box, these are the ones that will go over the spreader that will hold the panel on, and these are the ones you'll loosen so you can slide the panel up and down for any intersecting uh, lines that may be coming into the end of the box. Okay, now that we got the tamp pad off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bracket together for the short end of the uh, spreader. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the steel piece, that goes on. We're gonna take our bolt with our lock washer on there. We're gonna run it down through there. And what I'll do, what I do is I just put the C clamp on, just thread it in, just a couple threads, you know, so it's on there. Bolt. Bolt, lock washer. Same thing here. We're gonna line them up like this, and we just slide them up through. And sometimes it takes a little finagling to get these C-clamps in there. Just run them up the channel. All right, that's the first one. It gets two on this panel. It gets two, and again, these are for the small end of the spreaders.
Tighten it back up. Now what we'll do is we'll put it on the spreader. I'll show you how it goes on there on the short end of the spreader. Okay, what we did was out in the field, the way you would put this on, um, since we're inside and we don't have a machine right this second, you would put the D-ring lifter on here and you would lift the panel up, bring it in, and you'd get these set. But uh, for purposes here, I had a guy help me. We put it on. Uh, all you do is turn one of these upside down, the bottom one's upside down, you bring the top ones in and set them on over top of the small end of the spreaders. And then you bring it down, you'll clamp this with your bolts, which I'll show you in a minute, and you'll clamp these with your bolts. You can bring it up and down, you know, to where you want it using your machine. Okay, so we got the panel on. Uh, this is a shorter panel than the panels we have here. But essentially what you would do, you, you know, you got your front bolts, you're over the small side of the spreader, you know, top and bottom. Um, all you need to do now is take your lifting ring and lift it to where you want it, and then you just tighten your bolts on the inside here. Once you tighten these, the panel will stay where it needs to be. Now we have both of the clamps on to go over the big diameter end of your spreader. We're gonna put the push pad back on, then we're gonna stick it on the spreader. Okay, so we got the uh, panel, uh, your drop-on panel that goes on over the big diameter end of the spreader. Uh, one thing I talked about, the holes, if you'll see here, uh, those holes are there to go over the spreader adjustment pin uh, when they end up here. Um, you know, if you're going to put another panel here, uh, of course, you know, them holes are there, but you don't need them. So you have your D-ring lifter on here. You would just raise this up to where you want it or lower it. Um, of course, it wouldn't go down much further, but uh, you could raise it up pretty high. Um, and then you just tighten your bolts, you know, your four bolts. Okay, I hope I touched on everything to help you put this together, the assembly. Uh, but I will say, if you run into any problems, give the factory a call. We can help you out over the phone. Um, if there's anything I missed, give us a call, let me know, and I'll uh, add to the video. Thank you.